All right, here we go. So you should have, have already blended all in your negative spaces right before you paint. So you shouldn't have any white spots. So really and truly, I would make her come in and, and fix these. But just for the demonstration video, I'm just going to go ahead. This is not my work. It's a student's. All right, so I prefer flat brushes. You're going to need more than one brush, obviously. I've got several here. Um, for the bigger areas, you'll need a bigger brush. And for the smaller areas, you'll need a smaller brush. So here's my black acrylic paint. And I'm just going to dip the tip in just a little bit. And I'm going to wipe the extra off like that. Now here's the trick to getting the nice smooth edges. And if you want, you probably get me a paper, just a blank paper to put right here. Let me show you that so you don't smudge. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to smudge her blends here, so I'm putting on paper. You can use paper towel or anything like that. But I hold my brush like this at an angle, and I lay it down. Do you see how I'm laying it down on that edge? Now, do you see what that does where it starts to run out of paint? That's called feathering. And we don't want it to feather. When it starts to feather like that, that and, I use, and I've used both sides, that's what tells me I need to dip the tip of the brush back into a little bit more paint here and keep going it's a slow and steady thing as you can see I'm not doing it in a choppy way nice and smooth hope that's in focus and you can see how clean that looks. Look how clean that looks against your blends. Pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm. If you accidentally get outside the lines, that's okay. You can make it work. Let me get outside the lines right here real quick just for illustration purposes. Oops. Look what I did. I got outside the lines. It's fine. Just come in here. Make it work. Don't give up. I sound like Bob Ross right now. Kind of don't I? I'm not nearly as cool as him. But I did dress up as him for Halloween a couple of years ago. I had an afro and everything. And a beard. So you see how that feathered right here on this edge? I don't want feathered edges, so you gotta, you know, get a nice edge, like edge it up. I don't know any better way to, to say that. All right, there you have it. That's how to hold your brush at an angle to get that nice line.